over here. Okay, so. This is like the back side of Hyrule, or the front side, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so there's this bridge, and then, then there's this path, and the path leads over there, and you see that tower in the distance? That's Ganon's tower, like that's the final part of the game. So the very end of the game is right over there. And it's right there, like the loading zone is there, it's the same path, this is like literally leading up to the end of the game. And we're still near like we're not even at the middle of the game yet, but we have access to this area. And if we could reach the loading zone way over there, then you could just simply enter Ganon's tower um, and then continue on. But basically, there's this barrier, this thing right here. It's stopping you. This is what prevents you from crossing over and getting to Ganon's castle, this barrier thing, right? So... You might ask, like, well, what's the problem? Like, why can't you just get past it? Well, it's actually quite a strong barrier. So, let me kind of explain how crazy this thing is. This barrier, it goes all the way up, all, like, like way the fuck up. <laughs> like, it goes so high. And it's a cylinder encircling the entire castle. Okay? So, Within the cylinder, I'm not taking damage. But anywhere outside of the cylinder, I get infinite knockback. I, I'm forever taking damage and getting pushed back. Also, there's an invisible wall through the barrier. So even if I do a glitch, there's a glitch you can do where you pull the Wind Waker on the same frame that your damage and vulnerability ends. So let me try to do that right now. Okay, so I've I've done the glitch now. And now I've canceled I've canceled taking damage from this hitbox or whatever. Like I I can no longer take damage. And I'm past the the, the damage part of the barrier. If you look where I'm standing, I'm actually past it. But check this out. I still can't walk forward even though I'm past the barrier. Now why is that? There's actually an invisible wall in addition to the damage barrier. The invisible wall reaches all the way up. It reaches pretty far down, although it does end. And the, it, it doesn't, it's not on the ceiling or the bottom of the cylinder, but it is around the cylinder. And there's a, so there's an invisible wall and there's the damage barrier. So uh, basically the way this works is, <clears throat> uh, there's a couple other things you have to keep in mind. One thing, this area does not have a map. When I press D-pad up, nothing happens. So I can't use the Tingle Tuner in here, which means <coughs> which means that if I try to do a zombie hover and then heal myself, I can't do that. Uh, also, uh, because of how big this barrier is, if I started on the entire other end of the castle and did a zombie hover and I mashed frame perfectly, I wouldn't even get close to clearing this thing. I would hit the fucking barrier and fall down, even if I mashed frame perfect. Okay, so that's that's the thing. So now another thing is, it turns out you can actually get on this ledge over here if you do a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, actually, it's not that hard in the Japanese version, but you can you can get on this ledge, right? So some people are saying, well, okay. Now that we're on this ledge, let's just like ledge clip through the thing. Like like cancel a knockback and then like ledge clip through the invisible wall. Well, it turns out you can't grab this ledge, so you can't ledge clip. Uh, another thing that was thought of is let's die and then right as Link's about to stand up, get pushed off the ledge by a bomb, fall down and then do a zombie hover under the barrier and then enter the loading zone. And that, you can do that, but because you got knocked back, and then you died, and then you started the zombie hover, you no longer have the glitch I have now, where I, I, I don't take any damage from the knockback from the damage barrier. So, even if you do that, you still can't get past the barrier. Therefore, there is no way to cross this barrier and get to Ganon's castle without actually breaking it. 
Um, what's kind of funny though is if you if there was a door in Hyrule, if there was a door anywhere, if there's just a door, you could get storage, store the door, and then you could just walk right through the barrier. But there's no doors, so you can't do that. And that concludes Barrier Skip 101. I hope you all learned something. <laughs>